So as with any new language, it's appropriate that we do a hello world to get you accustomed to C++. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, we say pound include IO stream. This is a little bit like the imports you saw in Java, where at the top of the file you'd say import this or import that. Um, but pound include uh, basically says bring in everything from IO stream, but it's not immediately available. I have to say what in there I wish to use. And so just just follow along using std uh, cout. Uh, cout is essentially the black console window, uh, or out c comes from uh, c because c++ is uh, follows up from c. And then I also just need to say using std nline, and that's simply so I can put an nline at the end of my file. Um, we can say void main. There's a few flavors of how you can do this. Uh, sometimes we actually probably should say int. Turns out Visual C++ handles uh, this for us, so we can say void main, and I can say see out uh, hello world inline. And so, if I had not uh, put these usings up here, for example, if I comment them out, then the compiler should complain saying I don't know what see out is, I don't know what inline is. When I, I brought them in using this include but they're not visible uh, unless I do the usings and we'll get into more details about how this exposes namespaces and things later but for now they are necessary uh, you can look at these double arrows as the stream insertion operator so essentially what's going to happen is C out or the black window I wish to insert into it the string hello world and then after I insert that string I will also wish to insert an end line so if I run this control F5 uh, notice it says build started, build succeeded at the bottom left hand part of the screen. We have hello world, uh, black console window. If I take out the inline, then you'll notice the uh, press any key to continue runs off the end of the line because we did not put an inline there. Anyway, so that's in hello world, C++ in a nutshell.